What's up YouTube? I'm gonna be unboxing a couple mats and the new GAN Megaminx V2. Uh, I'm very hyped to finally be getting my hands on this new Megaminx. Um, so yeah, let's check out the, the mats first. So, whenever I first unbox these, like just looking at it, I was like, wow, the colors are very vibrant. So this one is the digital, this is the strokes. Personally, I like the strokes a lot. This is very nice. Let's get these out of the wrapper. Right, check that out, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so for the rest of this video, we're gonna be rolling with the strokes. Just looks sick. All right, now for the coolest part of the unboxing. The GAN Megaminx Maglev technology. So, over the past couple of years of me solving Megaminx, I kind of have been tossing between the Yuhu and the Diane V2. Most recently, in competition, I have used the Diane V2. So, I will be mainly comparing this Megaminx to the Diane V2. And wow, this is a very cool. Boxed. Okay. That's sick. Gotta move that to the side. So here's the Diane V2. I can already smell like like paint almost. That's interesting. But the size comparison, it looks very, very similar. The GAN just looks like slightly bigger. And wow. You can just feel the UV coating, like, it just, it's really gripping to my fingers, I really like that. So, first turns. It feels really good out of the box without any setup going on. And the speed, like, it, it's... At high speeds, it's able to be controlled, which is so nice. That's what's so amazing about Maglev. And they've... Gan has been able to add this Maglev technology really well with Megaminx. So the Megaminx is 119 grams. And check out the magnets. The design on that, that's kind of cool. Sides there. So I don't know what the settings are set at. I'm guessing kind of fast. But these are the same settings on, as the GAN 14, I believe. I think this was the same thing as the GAN 13 too. So it's set five for the inner and two on the outer. Yeah, it feels very flush. Very fast and flush. Yeah, I really like that. Let's just do a quick solve on it. And yeah, just get the true experience of solving this thing. So the colors, I have to get used to the colors because everything's a little bit brighter. The purples, the purple is uh, popping out more to me, which isn't a bad thing. It's kind of making the light blue a little more closer together, but you can kind of expect all the colors to just be more vibrant when it's UV coated. Yeah, so that's kind of a slow time for me, 106. Um, but I'm just getting used to the turning. Um, for not being warmed up, I'm able to turn really fast. So I'm really curious how fast I can turn when I'm like really warmed up.
Yeah. This thing, this thing is awesome. Um, whenever I first saw like the prototypes being used by like the super fast people who got to get it early, um, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. This feels next level. If you can afford like a more expensive Mega Minx, this thing runs I think sixty-seven dollars for the UV code one. Um, it's definitely worth it, especially if you're trying to improve. This is one of those things that would just automatically decrease your time without even changing the way you solve. And if you do solve on Mega Minx a lot, it's just a game changer. This, this has been really fun just solving on it though. Yeah, this thing, this thing just feels amazing. The only, uh, okay, just talk about cons here. Uh, the only thing I would just have to get used to personally is just the colors. Everything is just a lot more vibrant. Uh, some other colors are closer together than what I was expecting. Like the purple and the light blue is a little bit closer together now. And some people have an issue with beige or tan. Uh, being too close to white, I don't think that's an issue here for most people. Pink is pretty defined too. Um, obviously, if you're able to just get the black version that replaces gray, helps a lot. I'm rating this a solid 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'm rating this thing a solid 9 out of 10. Uh, performance wise, 10 out of 10 for me. The only reason why it's 9 out of 10 is because it's considerably more expensive than all the others. Diane used to be like the more expensive Mega Minx out there that was on the popular side. And now it's obviously the GAN V2 because of its performance, uh, but it's nearly doubling in price compared to the Diane Pro. But that's, that's the only downside. I haven't even tried all the settings and adjustments yet. And out of the box, very, very good. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to get one of these mats, which are very, very cool, or this timer, or any of these products that I have used in this video, you can go to SpeedCube Shop. They are all available there, and you can use my code OMEN to save a little bit of money. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.